This is a rebar cutter bender. It's a mean tool, but it's way better than nothing. You'll see them often on concrete jobs to sort of make the odd cuts and the odd bends that maybe didn't get taken care of at the fab shop. Or, heaven forbid, you've got to bend your whole job with one of these, you can do it. But let me tell you a few things that you ought to know before you tangle with one of these guys. The first thing is, on number three bar, that is three eighths inch diameter, it'll cut it easily. This is a piece of number three bar. You just drop it into that slot between the two bits and bam, it cuts it. No big deal, right? It is also made to cut up to number four bar, which is half inch. But when you're cutting four bar, let me tell you something you need to think about. First of all, one good way to lay out your cuts on your rebar is with paint, because the cuts don't have to be accurate. But you put the paint in there, and it comes tight, and right now you start thinking about, wow, that's hard. And here's the next thing I want you to think about. How do I protect my neck from whiplashing when this thing actually breaks? Because it will. Note to self, when you're bearing down on this handle, it should be with jerks and not just one long pull. Let me show you what happens. If you just try to just get on there and just push that, you're not making much headway. I weigh 195 pounds. But if you use some momentum and jar it, you better be ready because when it goes, your head's going to want to stay where it was a second ago. Like that. A big part of the reason that that snap happens and that everything happens at once is because rebar is a medium to high carbon steel. It doesn't like to bend and it really doesn't like to shear. So I have no idea how hard those things are, but I can tell you they've got to be real hard because they will shear rebar all day and remain sharp. So the cutting works great. Pay attention. Lay out your cutter perpendicular to your bar so that all you have to do is pick up your bar and drop it in the slot to cut it instead of having to turn the bar to get it into the work. Does that make sense? Bending is a happier story. Now the fact is, when they get a little worn like mine, they don't quite come to a 90. You see that? That's about maybe 95 or 96 degrees. So you put it back in there and you get another hold on that second lug and you can nudge it back to a true 90. Pretty close. Or you can take it on around and actually create kind of a hairpin. You saw that three bar cuts pretty easily. You saw that number four bar, half inch, cuts with a bit of, bit of a struggle. These things are represented and sold as if they will cut up to number five bar, five eighths of an inch. It's miserable. Here's an old piece of five bar. The slot in the front is slightly bigger than the slot in the top. Let's see if I'm even heavy enough to do this. We're making headway. Oh man, that hurts. So don't go out and buy one of these unless you find one for 10 bucks at a yard sale, then you could buy it. The only parts on them that can wear out are these bits, and you don't really know if those are worn out or not until you find out if it'll cut. So, I guess this is, for a lot of us, maybe kind of a curiosity, but if you're in the business, sadly, you've just gotta have one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.